The need for blood donations is dire, and the American Red Cross is experiencing its worst blood shortage in more than a decade. Tonight, News Channel 9's Adrian Smith shares the story behind a life-saving blood transfusion that proves every donation counts. Christina and Jason Harris have been happily married for almost six years. The couple just welcomed their second child into the world, but the unexpected happened right before Christina was going to give birth. I sat up and I felt what felt like three really big kicks to my left side and then blinding pain across my ribs and like I couldn't breathe. Doctors at Guthrie determined Christina was having a placental abruption, a serious pregnancy complication when the placenta detaches from the womb. She was rushed to have an emergency C-section. I asked the surgeon if my daughter and I were going to be okay and he said he'd do his best. After a successful C-section, things took a turn for the worse for Christina. She began bleeding uncontrollably. The doctor said the blood was pouring out of me and they were doing their best to, <laughs> to put new blood in. She needed blood right now, emergently. Um, and uh, fortunately, we had blood products available in the blood bank. She received what we call um, a massive transfusion. After two more emergency procedures, Christina wound up receiving a total of 33 units of blood. As far as I know, that's 33 people that took time out of their day to, to give of themselves. And without any one of those people, I don't know that I would be here. I don't know that my husband would have a wife or that my beautiful little daughters would have a mom. It's not just about the life that you're saving, it's about all the other people that care about that person. All it takes is 10 minutes of your time, and you could help keep a family of four like Christina's together for years to come. Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. We're happy to report both Christina and baby Ava are healthy. A blood transfusion like hers can only save a life if there's enough blood available. If you're interested in donating, we'll show you how to at localsyr.com.